Hi, Don. How are you doing today? Doing very well, Gilbert. Thanks for asking. Yeah, so great to have you with us here today. Maybe you can tell us a bit about the background of your company, Grass Energy Technologies. Yeah, we're a power conversion company at this point in time. We had transitioned from oil and gas about three and a half, four years ago, and we're quite pleased that we did. We're a power conversion company. To the best of our knowledge, we're the first in the world to uh, have developed a commercial prototype of a zero voltage switching or soft switching inverter. And we're uh, actively demonstrating that with uh, uh, auto manufacturers, EV companies, and, and about to be doing things on the, on the grid as well. So uh, we're very, very pleased to be first mover and in the power conversion uh, sector. Sure, let us let's dive in more on your products and your business models here. We understand that power inverters are, is, a, is a booming market and with huge growth potential. Can you tell us a bit more and how is it significant? Yeah, well, the electrification of the world is a, is a massive thing. It's going along very, very quickly. And the inverter market alone, total inverter market alone, is projected to be $117 billion by 2029. It is actually growing at about 16.5% a year. So it's it's a huge, huge industry. Um what we've been able to do is we've been able to focus our business model was to develop a, a first of its kind, a transformational inverter. And as I said, with the zero voltage switching, and we focused on the EV industry first. Uh, we went from an idea to a, a proof of concept to a commercial prototype. And we're now in demonstrations and commercial talks with a number of different OEMs, auto manufacturers uh, and tier one suppliers. And that was all in less than three years, in about three years. So um, we're very, very happy. Our business model is to be able to sell a full inverter. It also can incorporate licensing of various factors of it if someone has their own inverter. But we're, um, uh, we're very pleased and the business model is to access exactly what the customer needs. We're, we're fit for purpose. So what's uh, compared to the conventional inverters, what's your competitive advantages over there and how would you be able to increase your market share in the future? Yeah, uh, a hard switching inverter, which is what exists today, uh, it's, it's what everyone has. And the problem with the hard switching inverter is that it creates switching losses. So if you think about it, a, a, an inverter turns on and on, or the, the power switches thousands of times a second. And when every time it's on a down part, it, there's a switching loss is what they call it. And that causes problems. It causes uh, electrical, magnetic, electrical magnetic interference. It causes things that the companies have to pay to protect against. So, uh, you know, you have to put shielding around cables, you have to put shielding or a box around the battery, so on and so forth to protect against these negative effects. Our soft switching inverter has higher switching frequencies. It eliminates the switching losses. So there's no negative effects. The EMC is lower, the EMI is lower, and they don't have to pay for protective shielding. So for around the same cost as what a hard switching inverter is, you can buy ours and put it installed, but you don't have to pay for all those protective uh, coatings that that the other companies do, and our our uh, inverter shows on the system wide level that you can reduce battery size, you can uh, eliminate the onboard charger. There's so many different cash advantages, financial advantages for the customer. So that's where we're at. We're first move, first mover status, and have a huge advantage within the market space for that. So quite a bit of a cost savings for for the customers for sure. Yeah, and uh, let's just touch upon a bit more on the corporate side of things now on your company, Hillcrest. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about your share structure? Like your, you know, sh who are your major shareholders, and what other uh, does, does the management have a have a holdings in the company? Yeah, uh, insiders management board. We're about 11, 12 percent of the company, um, and uh, and about eleven or twelve percent of the company. There are three main family offices that own about sixteen percent of the company. Uh, one in one in the United States, two in two in Europe, uh, and then the rest is primarily there's there's some very key shareholders that own another say fifteen to twenty percent of the company, and the rest is retail based. We're looking at this point in time. We're out there actively presenting the company to family offices and institutions. We'd like to have more of an institutional backing, and I think we're getting very close to that. It's it's been a it's been a real positive uh, year over the last or last three or four months have been very positive in, in turning over, uh, in turning over the, the float within the company and bringing in some, uh, some more industry related investors. So talking about your share price, uh, your, your share price has gone up quite a bit in recent weeks here. So what, what do you know, the, any, any particular reasons behind that? 
Yeah, well, we're getting close to commercial commercializing the product. So we've been in conversations with a number of different companies uh, over the last uh, year and some. We announced uh, a week ago uh, a deal, a development deal with Ocean Batteries. They're a uh, energy storage solution company out of Norway. Uh, they're they're putting energy battery uh, solutions together for the industrial marine, so into ports and with uh, industrial marine location. They're looking at our inverter as going into their second generation energy storage solution uh, box, for lack of a better word, uh, system. And uh, and so the the market really responded to that. We've they, we've been talking about the success of our testing, and now the market's looking for. Uh, how close are we to actual deals? And we think we're getting much, much closer and, and hope to be able to announce a few more soon as well. So talk, let's talk about your evaluation because your, your market is quite a niche market and your first mover, as you mentioned. So any other baker companies or industry leader that, that you can compare yourself with in terms of investors like looking at your company's valuation right well, now? Well, we, we get asked all the time about, you know, who do we compare <laughs> ourselves to? And, and, and quite frankly, uh, without mentioning names or whatever, there, there's, it's hard to say that we are comparable to someone else because our technology isn't just for EV. It goes into wind, it goes into solar, it goes into stationary or grid related applications. So we're a we're a, a technology platform that is able to be put into various sectors. We're not aware of many others that can do that. We don't just have to talk to auto manufacturers. Uh, Ocean Batteries is a perfect example. They're an energy storage. We have solar companies now that are trying to talk to us. So um, I think our market cap will start to, uh, it's starting to reflect a little bit more of our promise. As you say, it's increasing. But as far as comparing ourselves to others, I think that uh, it's, it's kind of a bad way to say it, but I'll, I'll just say it. We're unique where we stand. We're in a we're in a segment that's growing, as I said, sixteen and a half percent a year, and we offer a solution that no one else has been able to offer at this point in time. So I don't know that we have any competitors at this time. It really sounds like a, a really ex exciting times for investors to follow your company, of course. Well, we're, we're we're trying to get more exposure. We're trying to get new eyes on the company. We think, and you know, we're we're drinking the Kool Aid, but we do have something no one else has. And if someone is involved in or interested in looking at new technologies or first mover status, then we're a company we think is worth looking at for sure. Great. Uh, thank you for your time here with us uh, today, Don. I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you, Gilbert. Yeah. Talk to you next time. Thank you.